Why, hello there, Vikings and ninjas alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy. And in this episode of A Journey Through Figure Drawing, Design, and Invention, we're going to be talking about just a single page from uh, Michael Hampton's book, and that is page five, Form and Balance. And on this page, actually, I should start off with side views. So the first, the main thing he talks about on this page is how there are three different, three main parts to the body. And one thing that I noticed, you didn't really talk about this, I think he's a little later, was from the side view, was that there are three angles going on too. So you've got the head comes down here and then you got your spine and the pel or the um the rib cage. So the the head is on like a straight angle. You see what I mean? Like the face is pretty straight. I mean, you it can turn up and down, but we're just thinking like the basic resting pose. Then the pel the rib cage is on this kind of angle, and the pelvis is on the opposite angle. It bounces out. And the legs come out something like this. This can be like back like that. This is kind of flat right here, with a slight curve down, and then there's like a straight line here. And then it comes down. And then in between these, we've got little fleshy areas. Maybe I should do that a different color. Let's do a different color. And I'll also tell you something, a secret about the neck I figured out. Thinking about like, oh, it's just a fleshy area in between. Oops. You know, I don't want to keep that other color. So let's do fleshy areas and a nice fleshy pinkish red. And this is going to go all the way down here because this is the rectus abdominis. And then here are going to be some leg muscles. So you're going to line up, or should line up, I think, with the center of the head right here. So the curve should probably be something like that with the knee. And that one kind of goes straight down. Yeah, let's zoom, zoom out and finish that body up. So you can't really see this as much from front view but you also can. Alright, this looks like it's leaning a little bit back, I think I made. Oh, see, because it's not lined up perfectly. There, and then this should go straight down pretty much. That looks like he's jutting his area out, but at least it looks balanced, right? So that's a trick to keep this part basically the heel or a little bit before the heel lined up with the center of the head on the foot that's bearing the weight. So we've got the three sections. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Okay. Let's see. From the front view, we can still kind of think about it as we do our construction. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So the head straight up and down. I mean, everything is going to be lined up straight up and down, but here, I like to use a box because it's the easiest, but you can also use like a spherical shape. But you want to, right, use the box when I was starting out figuring this out, and now I'm, I think I'm transitioning over to the spherical shape. Now I'm starting to get it. I think it's easier to start with the box. Because then you're like, okay, I have a clear bottom plane here. And then the pelvis. See how it's coming at, so you see how this one's coming at this angle, this one's kind of going backwards, and this one's straight. Alright, and then the legs come out and do their thing. Okay, so then when you're constructing, let's go back to our pink. Um, it's going to come down here, and going to come down here. And then, oh, the secret to the neck. All right. I don't want to forget to do that. So I'll just uh, have a little side note right now. All right, side note, secret to the neck. Is just to connect. Hold on. This head's a little small. Anyways, whatever. And then there's the shoulders you know, and all that stuff built up. Okay. So the secret to the neck is... So let's say this is the body, we're looking slightly down, so we got some shoulders like that. 
and then you put your head up here somewhere. Now all you gotta do, I mean, you gotta have the head shape and stuff, but it's literally just like as if a thing came out and just went from here to there. And then I guess you have some, alright, from the front view, literally just like that. Just think of the neck like that. It's not a bad neck if you have trouble, because I have trouble with connecting the head to the neck. So I need tricks like this. I don't know if everyone else does. Side view. And there you got your thing here. An arm like that. Literally just bloop. Just like that. Just a curvy line. And then when you can then you can emphasize the muscles and stuff if you you know if you want to do that. But at least to get a basic idea. It's pretty simple, I think. Um, but at the same time, not. I don't know. Well, you guys let me know if it works for you. Uh, I wonder if I had been told this many years ago, if my connecting head to the neck problem would have been alleviated at all. Why don't I like this head? I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Apparently I am. But. Alright, cool. So let's make a new layer, and then let's doodle around and make a few gestures with this, with this in mind. So one thing I can do, I think, is to kind of go like this, and now I have three angles, and let's build something around that. Like that. Like that. And these are doing like, this is me practicing gestures, like just from my mind. So here's the neck trick, just simple. Um, oh, okay, well let's move it up. So what's going on? So this one, since it's leaning back, this one we should see the, the top like this. And this is a pretty crazy, pretty crazy form going on, but whatever. And then we can add some limbs. Do, do, do. He's doing like some little chicken dance. And then let's see, we got the legs coming out like that. Maybe one like coming out like this. And I like to just like add things kind of randomly, but make sure that it has a a structure. And then I figure out like this one's not working out. You know, like this doesn't make any sense. All right, I think I twisted them too much. You know what I'm saying? Like I learned from that. This guy's creeping me out, so I'm gonna get rid of him. <laughs> so let's try another drawing. So here I'll start with the rib cage, and I got that upwards thing going on. We can use different shapes to show the angle. So I'm gonna try something out a little different. And then uh, yeah. we just holding a sword. Everyone's got to be holding a sword, man. It's the number one rule of art. If your art doesn't have swords in it, it's futile. Futile, my friend. I don't mean to be judgmental, but I do mean to be very judgmental. Alright, cool. So this worked out a little better. And then we have this this curve right here to kind of base the pecs on if we wanted to build it out more. We've got the abdominals coming down here. we got this line right here where we know the... Um, Obliques. Let's stop at about the top of the pelvis. You know. And then we can just build it up. But and that's what I guess that's what the gesture is for. Alright. Let's go ahead and leave this guy alone. Then we've got let's see, what else could we do with this? Maybe some uh let's exaggerate the direction some. So we've got one pelvis like that. So this one's like leaning way back. Swan dive. Or like an over eager Superman. He's like, whoa, I didn't know I was going to be that fast. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. And then um, let's do it the other way. So we'll have. So here's the top and the pelvis this way. So I think the. The, uh, I mean, the, I keep calling the ribcage pelvis, ribcage is like this, so I think the pelvis is going to be back like that to counterbalance that. And then maybe put like one foot in front. Yeah, one foot in front. 
Um, so he's like sneaking or something like that. A rogue in the night, perhaps. But he's got a torch. I don't know why he's sneaking around if he's making all this light. Maybe he's fighting blind creatures. Or he doesn't want to make any sound. And I think that's it. So that kind of is the idea that you got the three forms. And they can be represented in many different ways. Um, I like to use cubes. See, this is this is bad. This is what I kind of used to do. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not optimal. See how it's straight up and down? So if we were to do an angle, what have we learned? This is straight up and down. This one's at an angle like this. And this one's at an angle like that. And that might be a little exaggerated. Well, let's go ahead and compare these two. And I think you'll agree that this one has a lot more life and attitude and pizzazz to it. You know what I'm saying? Even in just these initial stages. So we can do circles, we can do cubes. If you do circles using like, um, you know, like these lines to help. Oops. So this one should be straight that way, and then maybe like that. And I think in the beginning it's better to exaggerate and then pull back, and it's more fun than do the other way around. So make it like really stupid. Like if you're having trouble, do something like this. You know what I'm saying? Where we're really exaggerating the thing and then pull it back. If you really tend to come back to this kind of guy. So you got circles, squares, and then the actual form of like the rib cage and the pelvis would be I guess the most advanced one, which I and the skull. So, you know, would be actually to try to anatomically convey them. Which is the toughest one. I haven't actually practiced that yet. And then what would this look like? Something like that. You know, not like, you don't have to draw every single thing, but to get the shape, you know, to get the organic shape. And wow, that seems to work much better. So I'm going to have to practice and experiment with this method and uh, learn my anatomy better so that I'm proficient with it. And uh, you guys do the same. <laughs> and we'll draw some awesome stuff. All right? Deal. Uh, this guy's got a spear. That's all for now. Peace, God bless. Stay fantastic, everyone.